Hey everyone, it's Sam Crowley. Welcome to the seven steps to building your online movement. It's great to have you uh, on this webinar. It's always exciting to do a live webinar and always excited to share great content. And so we're going to dive right into it. We're at the top of the hour out of respect for everyone who set their watches and their calendar by the time the webinar was supposed to begin. Let's get going. Um, the title of the webinar, I'm going to bring out Sam Kaplan in just a second as well, but the title of the webinar today is Seven Steps to Building an Online Movement, How to Amplify Your Results and Master the Art of Speed, Power, Money, those are great words by the way, and the, even the best one, Purpose, Without Burning Out or Breaking the Bank, even if you're feeling stuck. So it's a mouthful, but focus on those words, results, speed, money, power, and then of course I think the most important one is Purpose. And so before I go any further, I want to uh, welcome my co-host for the webinar, Samantha Kaplan. Sam is a uh, Broadway producer. She's an Olympic equestrian. <laughs> she has uh, been on oh. um, Chopped, the series on HGTV, I think a half dozen times. Just, a, just an amazing, but very interesting background. Sam, great to have you. Wow. And suddenly I feel so unaccomplished. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Really, oh my God. She walks around with a cell phone and snaps selfies of her with horses. I think that's really all she does. That, that is the only real true thing you've said in the last 30 seconds about me. But yes, yes, I snap a lot of selfies with Dubai, my horse, and do a lot of online digital marketing and business building. That too, that too. That's right. I forgot about all that. You actually have built a online platform and you consult uh, with businesses on how to crush it on the internet. I forgot that part. That's right. Yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, it's not that important. No. Just like you know, you're, you're kind of a coach and you have this incredible podcast, but it's just yeah, it's, cool. <laughs> it's your free so time. I lied all that about Sam being a Broadway producer. It's not true, but maybe it's just, uh, maybe it just feels that way sometimes, Sam. But anyway, we are here because Sam and I work together and we coach clients all around the world on how to really take their purpose and put it out there um, the way I did with Every Day is Saturday, the way Sam does with her movement, which we'll talk about as well. And uh, that's what we really love to do. So this is gonna be a lot of content. I encourage you to take notes, pay attention and ask questions. We'll monitor those as well. So let's just make sure that we are uh, being heard. That's probably always a good thing. Just type into the question box. You can hear okay. You can see okay. If you're looking at the screen, there's going to be the question uh, area there. Just type in yes if you can hear and see exactly what we're doing and saying because it would be really embarrassing if I've gone three minutes talking and nobody heard me. So wouldn't be the first yeah. time. But just make sure you uh, type into the question box. Anybody who's listening right now watching the webinar that you can hear, just type yes or I can hear or welcome. Tell us where you're from. That would be great as well. Always look, love to see. You can just name a few of them. Kayla, Dustin, Joe Sutter, Julie, Linda, just a handful of individuals that have joined us so far. Looks like we're ready to roll. So without... Uh, awesome. What's up? Just, uh, just before, <laughs> before you get going... Austin. Little known fact about these webinars. Can you yeah. hear me? Yeah, go ahead, Sam. Um, most people record and then redistribute the exact same webinar all the time. This is slightly different content every single time we do it because this is a live webinar. That's live. just, you know, just little known fact. Yeah, no, this is live. This isn't something where we just, you know, did a little uh, uh, recording and then we decided to just share the replay. We're here. How do we know? Because there's Dustin from Austin, Texas. Susan, welcome. Great to have you as well. Uh, feel free, guys. Use that question box to answer or to ask your questions, and we will answer them as well. Okay. So uh, we like to have a good time, like to have fun, like to laugh, like to teach. But what would what would a webinar be if you just sat there and like this is my next slide? You know, not fun at all. So anyway, that's why we put a picture of Sam with a horse. So stay hey. here. Only if uh, you're a dreamer, you're a doer, you have an interest in being an entrepreneur, or you might be one right now, you're searching for significance, you have a message, or you think you have a message, doesn't matter if it's concrete or clear right now, that's not important, just that you want to share it. Uh, maybe you've lost your passion or your purpose, understandable, it happens. You're, you might be a speaker, trainer, seminar, and thought leader, that's cool, love those. You value freedom. This one's big. Uh, you really got to value freedom over security. Security be defined as 
you check your 401k statement three times a day on the internet and uh, talking about health insurance gets you excited, okay? That's not for this webinar, all right? You want to launch or grow your movement, that would be amazing, so stay tuned for that. Um, this webinar is not for, probably the opposite of what I just talked about, lifetime employees, uh, that's great, congratulations, you've got a job. Uh, you want to fly below the radar and never be noticed. This webinar would not be for you. You like to take orders. Um, your dream would be working the drive through at McDonald's saying, would you like fries? And that would be amazing. Do not do not enjoy trying something brand new. It's, new things scare you. Uh, value security over freedom, the opposite of what we talked about. You're not about motivation and self-improvement. Um, that would be, yeah, that wouldn't be a good fit. And if you believe that failing is a bad thing, guys, failing is an amazing learning experience. And uh, I can tell you that because of all the ones that I've done. Sam, you ever failed or no? Curious. No, never. Uh, -uh. I've also never fallen off my horse or gone to scrape or a cut or gone to sleep at night. Yeah. Yeah. Those are, uh, yeah, very good. Then you're in the right place, Sam, by the way, you can hang on for a little while then. Oh, thanks. Stick around. <laughs> accept who you are, guys. Don't accept where you are. It's okay to accept, accept who you are. Um, I'm a fast-talking, ex-stuttering college dropout. I accept that. I get it. And I like to work around that, what I already know that I am. But I don't like to stay where I'm at. I like to stay on the move. Uh, it's hard to hit a moving target, so that's pretty cool. And I just enjoy new stuff, and I like learning new stuff. So just don't accept where you are right now. But please, embrace who you are, whatever... A lot of people look at that as kind of a liability, like I'm, I'm just this person. Well, that's a pretty big deal. And when we teach you in today's training how to really express that and get that out there, you'll start building a passion and a real purpose around that. So embrace that. This question I always throw in because I get asked this a lot. If I'm on a stage or I'm speaking, people say, hey, where would you start if you lost everything? What would you do? Well, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> that's kind of what this entire training is all about. If I lost everything, I'm going to take you through the steps that I would use to get it back. And I would have a lot of fun getting it back. It's not really fun to lose everything, but I think it's pretty exhilarating yeah. to know that you've got a blueprint on how to make that back. All right. And um, this is the moment that you're after and why it's never about the money. When Sam and I work with clients around the world, we always set the expectation that, look, it's going to be great when you make money doing this because you will. But man, if you're focused on that, you will always be dis you're always going to be disappointed because there's no amount of money. People say, and Sam, I want your thoughts on this as well, but people say, well, if I could just make 10 grand a month, or I'd be happy making five grand. That's not true. Because when you get to 10, you want 20. And when, when you get to 20, you want 40. And you think that that number is going to be the one that really satisfy you, but it's never and it shouldn't be ever just a number that you measure your satisfaction by. You know what I mean, Sam? Yeah, totally. And there's that saying, more money, more problems. You find a way to spend all that money when you get more of it. And that's part of the problem. You think that spending that money is going to bring you some other kind of happiness. And it just never comes. It's not about money. And so that's why we built this entire presentation around your purpose. Because if we build it all around a dollar amount, well, you could reverse engineer any any dollar amount. You want to make ten grand a month? Great. It's what thirty three hundred dollars a week, or three grand a week, or twenty five hundred a week, twenty five hundred a week, twelve fifty before Wednesday, twelve fifty from Thursday to Saturday. Take Sunday off. Numbers are easy, but what if you're not doing what you love to do? Then you're screwed. And that's what we want to talk about today, and show you how not to end up like everybody else out there. All right. Here's a, here's a photo I still use in my presentations because I think it's really cool. Uh, it's a Facebook post I made a few years ago. Zach Crawford's in the middle there. That's his dad to the left, and that's me to the right. Uh, Zach Crawford wanted to kill himself. He was $50,000 in debt, and his dad said one day, you need to listen to this Sam Crowley guy's CDs. And as a last resort, Zach, his dad gave him to Zach. Zach said, okay, I'll listen to him. Kind of begrudgingly, Zach will share the story with you. And he did, and he listened to my podcast as well. And fast forward to today, now he's earning, this is probably double, but at the time it was 50 grand a month. And he came to Cincinnati with his dad to meet the man who he claimed saved his life. And I just said, hey, there's no worries. I'm taking the rest of the day off. I was humbled. And I use this slide not to brag, but I use this slide because I started a podcast back in 2005. 
at the end into 2006, just wanting to share a message. That's it. I just wanted to share the message of hope. That's all I wanted to do. Because if I was going to be dead that year, I just wanted to get that music out of me while it was still inside. And now fast forward 12 years later, I'm still podcasting. I'm still getting a message out there. I'm still doing these webinars. You see what I mean? It's not about the money. I don't even know what I made in 2006. I don't even know what I made three years ago. Never. I don't look at my tax return and have a sip of uh, you know Merlot and say, wow, look at that line 42. Yeah. Whoa, that's really my adjustable gross. My adjustable gross income is so high this year. I am on fire. It's not about that. It's about impacting lives. So, if you want to impact lives, then you're going to listen listen to this, uh, watch this, and and really participate in this presentation. Ask questions if you're not where you want to be right now and sharing your message, and you want to save people and help people, just like Zach Crawford right there. Or maybe you are that person right now and you want to get to the other side. This is what the presentation is for. And that's Zach. That's why he went into a deep depression. He was in a really bad motorcycle accident, got hit by a drunk driver, and they didn't have insurance. And he was not in a very good place. And now he's that guy, that person who's out there being an influencer, sharing his life story, making a ton of money while he does it, but really measuring everything around his passion. So that's why I wanted to start with that. Um, imagine how you would feel. You knew exactly what your message was, and you could articulate it with... 100% clarity. That's what Sam and I teach, how to, how to get this message and articulate it really concisely. If you were more productive and more motivated every day, if you could create an awesome life built around your own terms, and Sam, after this next sentence, I want you to just share with people, for example, where do you live? What's an average day look like for you? And how does that kind of vibe with your purpose? Because I think people, if they listen to some guy who's a speaker and he's on stage and he's got a podcast with 15 million downloads, that's a little bit, well, I can't really relate to that because I'm not a speaker. Like, do I need to be a speaker to be on this training? So share after this next sentence, I want you to just kind of share people what your average day looks like because that's even more inspiring. Um, and this last line, what if you were able to pay off your car, pay off your credit cards, all that student loan debt, the mortgage, all that stuff gone and take your family on that dream vacation? That's what happens when you conspire everything around this purpose and this passion that you want to do. So Sam, what's an average day look like for you? Because you're not necessarily traveling, looking to get on the next stage, but yet you are living your purpose. No, that's true. I don't, I'm not actually a speaker myself at all. I've never done anything like what you do, but I am very well versed in the back end systems of the businesses that I've had my hands in. And I help people build out their messaging and their um, the systems in their business that makes it work for them. And so my days look like I well, I live in Southern California. I also have a horse. Um, I happen to live with him. It's very serious. <laughs> He's on the property that I live on. And in the morning I wake up, I usually have three or four phone calls in the mornings to check in with the different people that I'm working with. I make my coffee, I do a little yoga, I have a favorite coffee spot in town where I go and I sit and I get some of the doing things done. Um, I make some impacts on some systems that I'm either building or tweaking or maintaining for people. I go for a ride, um, make some dinner give you a call, we chit chat for a while. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's about a that's an average day and then, you know, plug and play with the different things that I just mentioned and they just get moved around. And but, that's the yeah, lifestyle that's, of, wasn't... of of the digital entrepreneur. You just described it. You're living you, you didn't build your life around your laptop. You built it around your passion, which is caring for horses and being free. Exactly. Totally. And that was the most important part to me was the being free part. Like you said, I I had to bench the 401k and the consistent income for the more sporadic but exciting and later on consistent because once you once you kind of make yourself known, I think in indus in any industry for a long enough period of time, um, and you get your message out to enough people. It's not good marketing. It's just being a good person and doing enough that you're like, you know, pedaling to the metal and going to the grindstone every day and connecting with people that that's where that silly 
like security that a lot of people look for, it's in your network. It's in that freedom of being able to connect with all of the people that you need to every day, not just showing up at a job, driving to work every morning, you know, getting that one hour lunch break like that. I would, that would kill me. Yeah, it did kill me. Well, not literally, but just about. And we got Linda. Literally. Linda had feedback. Yes, she said that would be awesome when I listed if what if you could do all of those four things. You're, you're right. Linda, stick around and everybody else because we're going to show you how. And it involves mm -hmm. you ch probably changing your mindset just a little bit. But the one thing that uh, Sam and I don't uh, you know, subscribe to is this uh, push button profit thing where it's going to happen tomorrow. Um, we've built our businesses and we've built our brands over time and we and we laugh a lot. That's a prerequisite. I keep saying it and I put it in my emails. I'm going to keep saying it because once you learn to laugh at yourself first and then just at stupid situations that happen as an entrepreneur and then enjoy what because if when you really enjoy what you do, it's very difficult to have a bad day. I'm not saying you're not going to. But when you don't focus on money and you focus on really helping other people and building this, you can do, you guys, listen to me right now. If, you, if we stopped right now and the Wi-Fi got cut off, just understand this message. You can do whatever the hell it is you want to do in this lifetime. But you got to understand that you have the, uh, that you actually have it inside of you, that you can do it. And it's not about websites. It's not about mm -hmm. learning all the latest technical skills. It's about surrounding yourself with people who will empower you and cheer you on. So if it's okay, Sam and I are going to cheer yes. you on. Yes. Right, Sam? Yes. 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 Fire it up. Uh, you're going to discover yeah. today how to celebrate your uniqueness, begin to live a life of significance. Uh, I'm going to share with you seven steps to harnessing the power of your experiences, both good and bad, good experiences and bad experiences, because I think every experience is an opportunity to share with somebody. And then build your own movement focused on impacting lives. If you stay till the end, which why wouldn't you? I'm going to give you my audio, Avoid the Top 10 Deathbed Regrets. It's over two hours of great audio about a survey that hundreds of people were, were given about what they regretted most right from their deathbed. Uh, it's very powerful. Mm -hmm. All right. So stay to the end. I'll give you the link to that. So does this sound like you? Some of this or all of this? Every day seems like Groundhog Day. You keep reliving yesterday. You chase the next greatest idea and the next guru only to find yourself more confused. Anybody ever do that? Or was it just me that chased every single guru and said, huh, now I'm even more confused than I was before. Um, your loved ones yeah. look at you and ask, hey, can we do fill in the blank? Can we go grab ice cream? Can we go to the beach? Can we just hang out? Like you got five minutes or you're going to get off your phone or your computer or you got to go to work and you're not home from work and all that good stuff. And you keep saying no to every opportunity that people, your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whoever it is want to do. And you just got to keep saying no. You look at super successful thought leaders and you say, I can do that. And then you remember when you had passion and purpose and you want to recapture all of that and more. And you want to start doing that right now. That's why you're on the webinar, right? I mean, you didn't just show up at noon Eastern time on a Tuesday to. <laughs> on a not. Tuesday. I got to work that in, Sam. Yeah, we do. Yep. At least one time on a Tuesday. It's my Drake, inner Drake coming out. Um, you want to recapture all of that. You want to start it right now. That's why you're here, right? And you envision writing a huge check to your favorite cause or charity and the incredible feeling that it gives you. You know what? It doesn't even need to be a huge check. How about having an hour of free time to go down to Children's Hospital and give a gift to a kid or something? I mean, that's the stuff that we do inside our home. And that's what gets us going, you know? And I wouldn't be able to do that if I was a corporate slave hating my job. I just wouldn't be in the right mindset. I put this in here about money because I like this quote because Warren Buffett is about the most longest term investor out there. We all know the guy is not like Johnny Risk Taker all the time, but he says, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you're going to work until you die. And so, Sam, examples of making money while you sleep, for me, it's as simple as building a digital course, putting it someplace on a I don't even want to get too technical, okay? I don't even want to lose anybody that doesn't think you have to have tech skills, but putting that opt-in someplace on ClickFunnels or Entreport or lead pages for 30 bucks a month or something, and that digital audio video series that you want to build around what you really love to talk about, keep selling mm -hmm. over and over and over again. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, it's that, and the other thing that people miss are those small miss are those small investments. So, like, even if you all you have is a free offer, 
that you then have to later manually close people on coaching or sell them something over the phone. If you have that manual free, or sorry, if you have that free offer that people are finding in the middle of the night, that's free money too, because it's later on leads of people that you would be closing for, I don't know, on the phone two weeks later. So anything, anything that's feeding into that funnel of what your passion is around that messaging that you want to share, that is how you make money in your sleep. It doesn't even necessarily mean the dollar signs too, that people miss that part. While we're going here as well, guys, Sam's right. I mean, it doesn't even need to be something you sell right now. It could be a free opt-in that somebody gives their email address to you and then you market to them down the road as a result of that. Um, right. You just need question. to find. Go ahead, Sam. No, I was just saying it, you need a way for people to find you so that you can later on sell them or or just connect with them because who knows, somebody that downloads your free thing could be like a next big investor in your business or maybe you wanna invest what they have. Like one of the most, the, the hugest gift that being an entrepreneur has given me is that I'm constantly seeing all of the gifts back from all of the different connections. You never know what one thing is going to lead to next. So I take this Warren Buffett quote to like the nth degree of like, is whatever you have, whatever passion you have, whatever message it is that you need to get out there. If people can't find that at 1 a.m. at night, you're doing something terribly wrong. You're not putting yourself out there. Yeah, they should be able to find you at 1 a.m. while you're sleeping because if you did it the right way, you put it out there, it's sitting there 24 seven and it's written, the headlines there and the opt-in and the, and the product, this digital thing, for example, that you wanna give away. It's your passion. There's no wrong answer. See, when you do what you love to do, there's no wrong answers. You don't have to tweak it and edit it and do that stuff. When I first started podcasting, my first 50 were, I mean, they were horrible. They were, they were so bad. I mean, I wouldn't even let my dogs listen to these things. And yet other people found them to be inspiring because I was looking at it in such from such a subjective lens, like, oh, I could have done this or that better. And it sounds terrible. And I stuttered and all that. They loved it. And that's I want to find out, um, when you get a minute, everybody on the webinar right now, just type into the question box, what's your passion? Like, what do you, what, what, what would you talk about? Just what would you, if we're sitting at Starbucks today, you and I, and I'm like, hey, so what do you like to do? What would you say? And I, I want to read those throughout the course of this presentation during this webinar. Uh, type into the question box, what do you like to talk about? What do you like to uh, teach people about? What's your passion? Like Sam is horses, for example. She does that when her whole life was built around that. Mine is my kids and uh, here in Cincinnati. Hi, what do you love to do? Just share it with us. I'd, le I'd love to read it. Um, the real problem is you've been focusing on how to achieve perfection. That's a killer. Done. You can't, mm. you can't, you can't recover from that because nobody's perfect. What you should be focusing on yep. is how do you be more authentic? How do you expose more of your flaws? <laughs> Think about that. That is such a yes. pattern. You know? Sam, you're screaming. Yeah, because... Screaming. Sorry, I don't mean to be screaming. <laughs> screaming. Go ahead and scream. When, <clears throat> when you said it, how to achieve, a per if you're focusing on perfection, sorry, I can't even get the words out fast enough, but it was like, I heard it on a whole nother level just now when you said that. It's completely unrelatable. Even people that are, am I really loud? No. Okay, just checking. No, perfect. We didn't do like an audio check or anything. We just kind of winged this one we today. We so, do literally wing it. We don't do, yeah, we literally are the anti-perfectionists on all of this stuff. So, but yeah, the anybody who's trying to achieve a pre perfection, I don't care if you're trying or you have or you think you have, that is so unrelatable for the rest of the population because nobody can go, oh, I can totally do that when somebody's doing something perfectly or, oh, that person is so somebody I want to be friends with when they see them trying to do something perfectly. It is so much more human and relatable and realistic and authentic and honestly warm and inviting when the perfection is removed. Like Yes, because they invite you. Thing. Yes, exactly. Sam, think about these two questions and I'm gonna come back to you after the next couple of slides. Linda wants to know, I like to help people create vision boards how can I do that while I sleep? And Cliff is asking, expert to the expert programmer. I do public speaking on complex computer tech subjects to expert programmers. Wow, okay. Um, that's, a, I mean, all of these. Hunting and fishing from Dustin. 
I know I told you I just have to talk, think about one of them. Uh, I love talking about leadership. John Daly, welcome, buddy. Uh, success principles, teaching, and basketball coaching. All right. Um, let's pick one. Let's just pick Linda and focus on her over the next few slides and answer this question. Just simple question of how can she help people create vision boards and how can she make money in her sleep while she does that? All right. Oh, so I that's your chore, it. Sam. No, I want to answer it now. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually have Sam answer the question now, Sam. <laughs> so as soon as she said that, I saw, um, and you can actually do this with your iPhone um, if you have one. I believe there is an app, a free app for a droid if you don't have an iPhone. Um, you position it over a desk that you're working on with a person that has hired you to create a vision board. And you would uh, do the speed up version of a video recording so you have your video above and this can honestly be finagled with like a piece of string attached to a ceiling fan I'm not talk I'm like talking bootstrapping you do not need crazy technical whiz stuff to figure out how to do this yeah open up a kitchen table put a you know put a cheap tablecloth cheap white tablecloth down get as many lights as you possibly can around your house aim them at that table create a vision board and record it with your iPhone hanging from the ceiling fan or however it could be from you know any angle in that room that works but you record it and then you upload it to YouTube on on super speed so that people can see the start to finish product of you creating that vision board and then if you're looking maybe you were attracted her name is Diane right Linda 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 sorry I heard I heard Diane but so Linda if you yeah, totally. <laughs> maybe she was, maybe Diane's her middle name. Um, I'm really stretching here. But maybe you found Sam because of his podcast and you want to do podcasts as well. But how can you do a podcast when people are trying to see the vision board? Well, you would talk on your podcast and interview people that you've created vision boards for or with. And you would talk to them about the process that you created it, what that felt like to create the vision board why they have these different pieces in their vision board and you could basi basically make your entire podcast off of telling these people stories about their dreams because that's what a vision board is i would listen to this all day long every day because i think people are fascinating and to be able to listen to somebody else's dreams and why they have them and what they imagine for their future sounds incredible so some way you could very easily have a YouTube channel of creating these vision boards and you can even do five or six for yourself or for family members at first when you're just getting started. It doesn't have to be for an actual paying client. Just get it going, film it and upload it and show the before and after and talk on a podcast about why these dreams are are belonging to somebody and, and what they see on their vision board because what you'll end up happening is having all of these people tune in that are imagining for themselves that that these vision what these vision boards can do for them and then like I can't even imagine that you wouldn't have a million people easily being like I need this I need I mean a million is a bit much I'm kind of just really excited but imagine all the people who you'd impact and want something like what you provide so that they can reach their goals and dreams. I can keep going on this and I should probably stop because we only have an hour, but like, this that's an amazing business to offer and it would be so fun. Yeah. Well, here's the bad news is okay, I'm done. Uh, I've just been exposed as the one who doesn't <laughs> have the brains of the two. So that kind of stinks that I'm just now <laughs> I put together pretty slides and Sam just completely. Hey, you asked me to answer it. Sam just completely crushed me. <clears throat> um, well, that's amazing response. Yes, of course you could charge for that, Linda. But let's dive back into the presentation. We'll show you more about that. And yes, you can monetize that, absolutely. But when Sam and I work together with clients, this is exactly the consultation call we have with them. This is what we do. We dive into what it is that you really love to do. Um, and I heard an amazing podcast myself, Frank Kern's podcast I listened to called Your Next Million. And it was so simple. And everybody should be doing this. You should not be learning how to put together sales funnels or pages. Right? You should just pay people to do that so you can focus on the one thing, just the one thing that you love to do. For me, it's creating audios. Everything else that's built around my platform of everydayissaturday.com, um, those are hired people. And, you know, I hired people 
10 years ago, but I didn't hire them at the highest rate because I didn't have the money. But you should not be spending your time figuring out how to build a web page. You should be spending your time creating the content that you love to do. And that is something Frank talks about. And we all need that reminder. And it's so simple. If you're trying to build these online assets and platforms by yourself, you're wasting so much time and causing so much frustration and you're taking your, yourself away from the very thing that you love to do. So um, Sam, that was a really, a really great response. And it wasn't too long because you can hear the passion that Sam's speaking with, and you should have that same passion. If your coach or the person that is working with you, your consultant has more passion for what it is that you're doing, that's it. That's the opposite of the relationship. They should be the one that's helping bring this out in you, and then you go do it and yes. create the content. So um, yeah, awesome. Thanks, Sam. Let's look at- uh, That's why we do this. Right, go ahead. Why would you do? <laughs> it really yeah, is. Yeah, exactly. Um, you can earn income. If you had one way to earn income and be successful by just being you, I mean, just being you, whoever you are, you know, whoever you are right now, wouldn't you love to earn money just being that person? It's not only possible, you're listening to two people that this is how we make a living. Um, if you had one way, you don't have to chase opportunities because they constantly chase you. Like Sam talked about, you plug into a network now. You've heard the old adage, your network creates your net worth. That's true. It's not just some fancy saying, it's true. Because you have freedom now, you're able to connect with people, places, and opportunities, and they chase you down. And then you can charge high prices to start consistently getting paid what you're worth. You can see the money coming in like clockwork. Um, let, me, let me just share with you a really big mistake I used to make, and that was undercharge for my coaching. And I, I look back and it was because I came from a, a lack mentality of lack of clients. I didn't think there was that many people out there. And even though I had the experience and I had a big heart to help people, and those two things are really important. I think it's actually more important to have a big heart than it is to have a lot of knowledge because when people know that you're there with them, like riding in the co-pilot seat with them, they will yeah. pay you handsomely to be that person because they know that you're never going to give up on them as long as they show up. So... One of the biggest mistakes I made was not charging a lot more money for my coaching. Don't do that. Don't start small and say, well, I'm not, I haven't really been doing this long, so I can't really charge a lot of money. No, you go in there and you charge based on the value, and there's a lot of value for being a person that has integrity. There's no value in somebody that's got a lot of knowledge and little integrity, okay? Um, okay. Yeah. Um, what? Question, want to build a movement while making lots of money? Now, the movement comes first, money comes second, always, always. The only place it doesn't, yep. I'm guessing, if I'm looking at those two words right, is in the dictionary, okay? That'd probably be the only time you're going to see the word money before movement. Wasn't that clever, Sam? That was very clever, Sam. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I need a, even, even, even myself, you know, complete recognition guy. Uh, wasn't that clever? Yeah, looking for attaboys. This is Liz. Liz is awesome. <laughs> Liz is a doctor, but doctors are not having a lot of fun in the United States now because they're really beholden to insurance companies. So Liz reached out mm -hmm. to me a while back and wanted to know how she could earn income monetizing what it is that she really loves to talk about. And that is intestinal. You know, she's an intestinal doctor. OK, a lot of things that go wrong there. But she also is so fascinated by making the human body healthier. So. We talked about that. She went from zero to $7,500 in one day, just selling her new product. And, her, and it was a presentation, just like the one you're watching now. We put the PowerPoint together. This is just one of the things I do. It's not, I don't do it with everybody, but this is what she wanted. She wanted to create a product and a message around that. And her product was her coaching and consulting. And she followed a very simple formula that I teach my clients. And after 25 years of working for insurance companies, she launched her own brand. And now she's on her way to making every day Saturday, not working for insurance companies, not working 12 to 14 hours a day. Um, you know, everybody thinks doctors make a lot of money. Some do, a lot of them don't. And they got a, they're in a lot of debt uh, because of obviously, mm -hmm. you know, the amount of education and time it takes and malpractice insurance and all that great stuff. That's 7,500, by the way. That was just a presentation she did in an office to about nine people. That's it. Sold seven people a 997 program and sold one person a $500 program. That was it, real simple, took an hour, and it would have taken a lot longer. And so guys, think about this. Your intellectual property, what you love to talk about, put that in a PowerPoint presentation, put it on a webinar just like this, and get out there and talk in hotel uh, ballrooms to five, 10, 12 people, go to the Rotary Club, Kiwanis, there's no wrong answers, go to a library, start sharing your message with people if this is what you wanna do, 
uh, get YouTube videos. I'm going to share with you Instagram um, that I just learned recently. Um, yeah, I'm jacked up. Let me get past this slide because now I'm getting even more excited. Now, <laughs> you got to believe it. You got to believe that you can really do it. Because if I believe it and you don't, that's not really good. Because when we're done the webinar, yeah. you got to believe it. Okay, I do believe you can because I see it all the time. When you get this, you're going to have the knowledge and the proven system to prepare for success in your life, business, and really be better equipped to overcome adversity. Because adversity is going to strike. You know it. I know it. But when you're equipped for it, it's no big deal. This means you're going to have income that's predictable, more free time to spend doing the things that you really love to do while focusing on your bigger life goals. So here's about me. Uh, real quick, I don't want to spend a lot of time on myself. I'm a father of four. I'm married to my wife, Angela, for 20 years. And that middle picture is Angela holding Susan, which she was born just at one pound. Um, I wrote a book. It's called One More Breath. And it talks about and chronicles this journey of our youngest daughter, Susan, born at one pound, spending 221 days at Children's Hospital, coming home on a trach, which you see her right there in the right, breathing through. That trach has now been removed. She weighs 30 pounds. Um, all my kids are healthy, thank God, um, and that is what I really enjoy talking about. I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't check my bank account. I check in with my kids and make sure you know everybody's happy. Which shocker, Sam? Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you have four daughters, you check in; they're not all happy. That's shocking. Shocker, huge shocker. Yes, there's a little bit of drama that floats around the Crowley compound on occasion. Um, that's a whole other presentation, though. Um, why you should listen to me i'm a thought leader in the space that i love to talk about and that is massive transition that is purpose passion significance i love those things and i love building businesses around those so when i'm interviewed whether it's on tv or radio or wherever it is on a webinar like this or even on stage you'll find me talking about the every day is saturday message and how it really gets me excited and how i know anybody can follow the very steps that i've done all right um, I'm the founder of Everyday Saturday, longest running motivational podcast on iTunes, over 10 million downloads in over 100 countries. Speaker, author, trainer, seminar leader, shared the stage with a who's who of really cool people, I think, really people that I love to spend time with and listen to. Proud father of four, as I mentioned, the author of One More Breath about Susan's journey. I try to, and this is my goal, is to live a lifetime of Saturdays. And a seven-figure earner, I only say that because over the course of a lifetime, you're going to earn that as well. I mean, look, if you make 50 grand a year and you spend 20 years in a job, you made seven figures. But it's how you make it, okay? And it's how you earn it. I like to call that Saturday money as opposed to working at a job 20 years, making 50 grand. Why not make that a lot faster doing what it is that you love to do? Who would love to, and feel free to respond, <laughs> Who would love to earn that type of income faster doing what it is that you really, and I mean really love to do, not, well, I mean, I could do it. I mean every day. Like I podcast every day because I love it. I do it in my car, out front of Kroger in a rainstorm, and people look at me. I just answered a question in a podcast community group on Facebook. Some guy was asking, hey, uh, what, sh what kind of studio should I get? Uh, should I get an office for my pod? I'm like, dude. A podcast from my car most of the time and i've got over 10 million downloads quit over quit worrying about it you don't need a studio why would you need a studio to do what it is you love to do when it's something as simple as just speaking into a microphone you don't need that guys don't buy all that stuff the shiny objects don't even buy that crazy thing that people talk about it's like you got to have this you got to be this. i'm doing a webinar and go to webinar i've got a mac sam kaplan's on with me it's as simple as this yep. guys can you feel the passion coming through the presentation though you know, that's what you really got to dial into. Those are the books I've written. Yay for me. I'm an author. Let's go to the next slide. All right. What my life was like and why it <laughs> sucked. Okay. I quit my job the just over broke in May of 25 to 2005. I bought a Quiznos. Sam, did you, you knew that, right? The, the whole Quiznos store. True. I've heard it a couple of times now. Yes. I mean, All if right. you really want to tell the story, go ahead. I don't want to tell the story. It's too painful, but okay. uh, I wasn't aware that I actually shared that. I can't remember um, if you knew that I was a, really an amazing sub maker or not, but let me, let, let me keep moving on. Um, yes, I went continue. back, I went back to my former company, asked for the job back. They took me from 110 grand to 39 grand. That was exciting. And I used to work for everybody that worked for me. That was even more exciting. Um, God, that was horrible. Went bankrupt. I think I glossed over that. Probably my subconscious just asking me to move on. 
I bought all the infomercial stuff, real estate CDs, courses from the gurus, make money online. I bought it all. I bought it all. I hired coaches and found out they were more messed up than I was. Um, nothing worked. I mean, they were preaching the dream and they were living the nightmare. So have you ever found anybody like that? Uh, Sam, you know anyone like that who's preaching the dream, living the nightmare? There's a lot of people like that out there. I won't name names, but yes. Name them. Name them. No. But no. that's honestly, I would I would bet that it's like upwards of 70% of all the gurus you see out there. And you you're you told me this because I know it's true. You just look at your email and you think everyone's a lie. <laughs> like yeah. It's a, yes. <laughs> but how sad. Yep. It's super sad. <laughs> and the and the reason we laugh about this stuff is because we know what authenticity looks like. Like we dive in, when we do a call with our clients, an initial call, and then we start building out their message for them. We we take like we go back and forth on the phone and we really talk about it before we even send an email to the client. Like where do we see their best passion and purpose? Where are they gonna get the biggest bang for the buck right now? That's how much care we really take with people because we love coaching and consulting individuals. So I discovered a right. secret. I had no money, no website, no product, no influence, no support from friends and family. Guys, I had people literally thinking that I'd lost my mind. Well, I guess I still have people that think that. Hell, Sam thinks that. But what I'm talking about is <laughs> people want to have an intervention with you because you went for your dream. Like, hey, man, um, you quit your job. Do you know what you're doing? Like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I'm not, I'm not flying below the radar any longer. And you right now listening on this webinar, uh, if, if everybody in the room thinks you're crazy, you're on the right track. If everybody in the room agrees with you, you're just you're just fitting in. You're living a life of average moments and they never end up in the, any type of crescendo at the end with anything good happening. There's no great big ending. It's just like it's like watching, uh, you know, a few good men without the court scene at the end. You know, Did you see a few good Oof. men. Sam? Yeah, but I'm getting it mixed up with usual suspects right now. But yeah. Yeah. Wait, a few good men. Never Tom mind. Tom Cruise. Oh, yeah. that one. Okay, that was the whole process in my brain that everyone just heard. You can't handle the truth. Imagine that scene not being in a few good men, you know? And so yeah. that's like when you go to a job. There's no, you don't get the the great thing at the end. You get, oh, here, here's your gold watch. Yay. Okay, here's your plaque. Let's take a quick photo Ooh. with the CEO real quick. Or All like right. scent of a woman at the end when Al Pacino totally just like, kills it to the judge of the school sorry that that's what i imagined that like if that scene didn't happen so imagine your your life being the movie and none of those scenes at the end happen because that's everybody with a job that they don't like so mm. Mm. every day is saturday that's a crazy photo but it's a mindset it's not a circumstance it's not like hey it's a million dollars or hey it's a big website it's it's your mindset that every day is saturday okay the moment of truth, you're gonna use your resistance as your guide. Like you're gonna take a lot of the challenges and you're gonna use those as kind of muscle building techniques. And this is how you're gonna launch yourself out there. You're gonna use that resistance to guide you and say, hey man, my biggest adversity, the things that I would worry about the most, that's gonna make me the most authentic. That's gonna get people believing in me. So here it is. Here's seven steps to building your online movement. And it's called, the first few steps is inside this little thing that I built called the momentum code. And there's nothing nothing more important than momentum in anything. You wanna work out, you gotta create some momentum. You wanna have great healthy relationships, you gotta create momentum because things that are in motion tend to stay in motion and it involves vision, action, results, and belief. Let's take a look. Finding your life's purpose. That's my purpose, all my kids, as I mentioned, uh, designed my entire life around experiences with my family. Side note, the reason why I did that before I show you that Dalai Lama quote is because my dad left when I was three months old. I wouldn't know the guy if he walked in the room right now. Um, so me, I just wanted to build a life around being a dad. I figured, hell, uh, my dad left. He skated when I was three months old, left my mom to raise eight of us by herself. I saw what that did. I wonder what the opposite would do. Can I literally change generations just by being a dad? That'd be really neat. So Again, guys, these are things that not normal people think about. Normal people don't go to work every day thinking, oh, I wonder if I could change generations of my family. No, they're like, yeah, I wonder if I could change the water out at the office cooler. That'd be neat. Maybe the boss will notice. Okay, so that's the difference. Um, when asked what surprised him most about humanity, the Dalai Lama answered, man sacrifices his health in order to make money 
Then he sacrifices money to recuperate his health. And then he's so anxious about the future that he does not enjoy the present. The result being that he does not live in the present or the future. He lives as if he's never going to die. And that's why most people never live. Right there. That's mm -hmm. it. Couldn't say it any better. We're buying things we can't afford with money we don't have to impress people that we don't even like. So stop doing that. Did I miss one? Oh, check this slide out. Forrest Bird. Never heard of the guy. Neither did I. He was an American aviator, inventor, and he's a biomedical engineer. But he's best known for having created some of the first reliable mass-produced mechanical ventilators for acute and chronic cardiopulmonary care. What's that even mean? Well, this guy was an aviator until he decided that he wanted to have purpose in his life. He just wasn't fulfilled. So he invented a mechanical ventilator for acute cardiopulmonary care, mainly pediatric pedi uh, children. Oh my God, I'm going all porky pig on this stuff, man. I'm trying to say the wrong word the right way for kids. That's my baby Susan. <laughs> my baby Susan benefited because this guy went for his dream because she came home on a ventilator. She spent her first nine months born on a ventilator, then came home on one. And if Forrest Bird didn't say, you know, I don't really want to be uh, anything with planes anymore. I want to go do something like meaningful in his mind, then our daughter would not have realized and had the experience she had. She wouldn't be alive today. So that's what it means, man. That's what it means mm -hmm. to go for your purpose in life. That's what it means to have success and fulfillment go together because success without fulfillment is failure. And I think this dude lived one hell of a life uh, because he went for his dream. So that's a very powerful um, slide. And that's why I do that. Uh, the VARB method, vision, action, results, belief, that's the momentum code. Let's talk about just capturing the vision. Step one, get a vision in your mind. Guys, just get a vision in your mind of what it is that you want to do. What if you knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that you were going to succeed? What if you just knew that you were going to be successful? Like you would take massive action. It's like, hey, I'm gonna, if I give you a dollar, you give me $5 back. If that was going to happen every time, you would say, okay, I'll give you $1,000 because you're going to give me 5000 back. That's what it means to be completely certain of the result. But you got to be certain of the result before you move forward. But most people aren't. They're him and hawing and him and and on, and I don't know, and I don't know. And they end up taking just a little bit, maybe a little vision, which is going to lead to just a little action. Roger Bannister broke the four-minute mile. That's the photo of him breaking literally the four minute mile, the first person ever to do it. And then the mm. next 18 months, 47 people did it. Nobody up to that point had ever done it. He does it. What happens? Oh, geez, I didn't know. Okay, well, hell, if I would have known you could break a four minute mile, now I'll just run faster. I mean, <laughs> that's the vision that people <laughs> don't have. Like, oh, geez, I, no one's ever going to break a four minute mile. So I'll just run, oh, 403. That's great. Oh, he did it. Oh, okay, well, I'll go do it now. That, and this happens in business all the time. The first million dollar product launch, John Reese was the first person to do a million dollars in 24 hours back in 2007 or whatever it was with his traffic secrets program. Nobody had ever done it before. Once John Reese did it, everybody started having million dollar launches. Now, hey, I had a million dollar launch. Yeah, that's great, man. You want to go launch? Yeah, sure. And I mean, now it's not even a big deal. <laughs> so this is what it means to have vision. And then next, if you got a big vision, take action based on the vision. Bit Large action. Large results follow. Large vision based on certainty equals massive action. Little vision based on uncertainty equals little action. Sam, you moved from the East Coast to the West Coast. Nothing to do with money. Just that was a big, big. This, this, had you just taken like a little act? Well, maybe I'll go dip my toe in the water. I mean, there's no Dubai. There's no San Diego. There's no network you've built out there. There's no experiences you've created on the West Coast. I mean, those are big, massive uh, well, decisions. No, the life here didn't would never have existed. What like this conversation likely would never have existed. We would have never met. The amount, no, the amount that the what is it? The butterfly effect of your yeah. of your actions. The bigger the action, the bigger that butterfly effect. And people kind of dilly dally around through life. There's like, well, I might move today or I might go reconnect with that person. This isn't just about money. I'm talking about everything. You want to go from, you know, uh, let me give an example. Thomas Tadlock, a buddy of mine, some of you may on here may know him. 
he's a vegan bodybuilder. I wanted to take massive action. So he got me on a program, not vegan, just on a program of working out every day. And it was amazing, man. He took me from, I think it was 205 down to 184, but it had nothing to do with the amount of weight I lost. That was just a byproduct of the regimen that I, he put me through. And it was massive action, man. I mean, I was drinking green smoothie. I'm like, what in the hell? The spinach? Like now I drink that stuff all the time and it's become a lifestyle. See, when this becomes a lifestyle for you and it becomes a really great habit, you don't ever look at the pain it costs to get going. You look at the results that you got, which is the next slide. Big vision plus big action is big results. Always, every time, guaranteed. Always, every time, guaranteed. Now, you might think, well, it's not happening as fast as I want it to. You don't get to set the expectation. That's, you don't get to vote about that. You just keep your head down and you keep going and you work as hard as you possibly can towards that because this is your passion, guys. This is what you love to do. The airplane stays up. It doesn't have time to fail. Like, you don't have time to fail because you're so engaged in what it is that you'd love to do. And last is belief, okay? Vision, action, results, belief. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Your belief in what it is that you love to do is going to be so huge as a result of the vision and the action and the results. The next time you capture the vision for something else you're going to be doing in your life, it's going to be huge as well. Why? Because you've already done all these steps. You believe in yourself. Let me share with you. This is the momentum code at work right here. This is a buddy of mine. You may have seen him or heard of him one time, Les Brown. I went out to an event of his. We talked. We chatted. It was a lifetime goal of mine to meet somebody like him, him specifically, actually. Check this out. Hi, my name is Les Brown. I'm this with Jamie Brown's baby boy. The next time you have an event, I want to highly recommend a speaker that I have the greatest respect for and most of all, the message that he delivers. Every day is Saturday. It's a life-transforming message that can inspire your sales organization, that can inspire your business, that can inspire you and take your life to the next level. Sam Crowley is a man who is the message that he brings. It touched my life. It brought me to tears. I know it will inspire you to greatness. This is Les Brown, Mrs. Mamie Brown's baby boy. Every day is Saturday for me. And it's going to be the same for you. That was a result of taking massive action and launching everydayasaturday.com and not listening to any of the naysayers. I used to listen to Les when I'd go to work every day after that bankruptcy and think, man, if he can do it, I can do it. And that's what I want you guys to think. If Sam can do it, I can do it. Uh, step five, document everything using video. You have a smartphone. Everybody has a smartphone. Start documenting everything that's on your mind and your thoughts and your actions using Facebook Live, using Instagram, using YouTube. Smartphones have made it super duper easy, guys. You wanna share your intellectual property? You wanna be a thought leader? Record everything, document it. And here's the thing, don't make it perfect. Make it the opposite of perfect. You know what that is? Authentic. Done is the new perfect, okay? Why people don't use video? That eh, takes a lot of time. They think there's some editing involved. It's too technical. Fact is that using video is super simple. You do it when you videotape your grandkids or your kids or your husband or wife and you know, you're know you ca capturing a moment for your family. Do the same thing with your business. This is your passion project. And my engagement grew 621% over the past year just using this simple Step, step five of the seven steps to really building your own online movement, document everything. Step six, mm. follow up. Sam, what was the, what was the oomph mm for? What hit you there? No, just that people overcomplicate that part so much. So that was all that mm was. Document everything. <laughs> You're right. They think it's so difficult, man. And not just people yeah. on the webinar today. I just mean people in general think I can't do video because no, it's not complicated anymore. It's literally record, stop, publish, record, stop, publish. And then when you have these individuals who are interested, follow up authentically. Don't try to be big time. Let me show you an example. All right. I use Instagram a lot. If you don't follow me, please follow me at every day is Saturday on Instagram. And I send people from my podcast to, I want them to send me a message on Instagram. Say hello, just let me know you're listening, that's all. And I get tons of direct messages every day in my inbox on Instagram. Here's a couple of them, people said, they just said, I don't ask for, you know, hey, send me a video. I just say, hey, say hi, let me know you're listening. One person, these two sent me uh, videos of them listening to my podcast, it's hilarious. Hi, you gotta know why 
is way more. And you, you can't even comprehend the blessings that are coming your way. It has nothing to do with decimal points at the end of your paycheck. It has Amen, Sam. to do with that. So you may be broke, but you're not broken. Right, Amen, go. Sam. And check this one out. <laughs> I love it. That awesome. Guys, this is engaging. Yes. I follow up with every one of these individuals and I send them a video myself. It's only 15 seconds. Instagram has video options or it's 15 seconds. It's over 50. You can send 10 of them if you want. I just send a quick 15 second video thanking them for listening to the podcast, sending them to my free Facebook group, Sam Crowley's group of doers, dreamers, and entrepreneurs. Go there if you're not currently a member. Just go to everydayasaturday.com forward slash FB group, as in Facebook. Join the group. Let us know what your dream is and how we can help support you. That's what I tell everybody who's listening to my podcast when they send me an Instagram message. Follow up authentically. Right, um, step seven, now you got to capture that lead. So here's where we get into a little bit. This is Sam, Ka this is Sam Kaplan's uh, genius. This is where she comes in on our team because <laughs> Sam... Well, it really coaches individuals on the best way to capture a lead. You've got somebody listening to your podcast. You've got somebody watching your video. You've got somebody read your Facebook post. What do you do? Well, you just get their call to action. Keep it simple. Just ask for their name and email. This All I have on my website is, do you know the power of your dream? Free audio download. I podcast anyway, so for me to create an audio is no big deal. What do you love to do? There's only three ways to create a, a freebie for somebody to take advantage of that you're going to give away. It's going to be an ebook or something written. It's going to be an audio or it's going to be a video. That's it. Three things. Pick one that you love to do. Some people like to write. Okay, cool. Then write a free report, a few pages. Some people like to talk. Great. Make an audio. Some people don't mind firing up the smartphone and taking a video of themselves. Start giving some really great content on the front end to build this movement. Sam Kaplan, You've been on every television show all around the world talking about this. What else would you add to it? Um, I can't say enough. Don't overcomplicate it. I mean, this whole part where people think it has to be a perfect ebook or a perfect audio or a perfect infographic. If you can come up with the content, then we can make it a whole version of perfect that you wouldn't even have anticipated. It still won't be perfect, but it'll be something that's like, beyond what you would have thought it would be. And it just does not need to be complicated. It's just content. That whole thing you said earlier about um, documenting, don't try to be perfect, just document, document, document. One of those documents is this free download, whether it's an audio, an infographic, or an ebook. That's what this is, it's not complicated. No, exactly. That's it, simple. Write that down. Simple. Success is simple. You know why? Because there's not very many steps to it. But when you're trying to be something you're not, it's so complicated. It feels it feels like you're wearing that 500 pound lead suit that I fired out in an email to my list yesterday. It just feels awkward and clunky when you can be who you are, whoever that is. All right. That's me with a nine dollar haircut right there. Great. That's who I am. I like that. Actually, I'm, that's not true. It was twelve dollars. However, that's who I am. I like to laugh, like to smile, and I do will never take life seriously ever, never in a million years. I build a brand around it. What are you going to build your brand around? Think about that. Write it down because when you're authentic about it and it's simple, it's fun. How would your life change if you were generating six figures a year and doing what you love? How big of an impact would you want to make on the world? You would want to make a huge impact. Success. Your life can change in the next 30 days when you find your purpose. A lot of people that haven't found their purpose. You know, I'm in a small group. Tonight I'll be going again, and it's with a lot of elderly individuals. The oldest one's 84. I'm the youngest at 49 in this small group. We talk about, uh, it's a Bible study. And there's people in their 70s still don't know what their purpose is in life. And that's fine. We're helping them. We talk about it. But to go all the way through and never ask, what's my purpose? Why am I here? Why am, I, why am I limiting myself? Like, why haven't I gotten this message out? Why am I not helping people? Well, that's where Sam and I come in. Let me just share this with you as well. This, this is Ira and Corey. I met them at a mastermind a couple of years ago. They are awesome. Check these guys. They've, they found their purpose in helping people create videos for their passion. Check them out. Hi there. This is Corey and this is Ira here. Hi there. We're the founders of Mojo Video Marketing and I wanted to do a quick shout out to our man, Sam Crowley. 
and we work with some of the top marketers on the planet. In fact, they're a lot of our clients. And the information and the tactics that I learned from Sam actually took our business to a whole new level because now we run the Video Marketing Expert Series. We are rapidly becoming this ultimate subject matter experts in video. And a lot of it's through a lot of the stuff that we learned from Sam. And it's, it's really helped us bring in more revenue and bring in more clients, right, Ira? Absolutely. And we got to spend three days with Sam a few months back down in Florida at a mastermind group. And we got to really get inside his head learned a tremendous amount of content and this guy is truly one of the top top if not the very best in his space matter of fact he owns his space so here it is without sam working with sam your chance of being successful are here with sam they're here without sam here with sam they're here you got the picture so you be the judge right corey that's right so whatever it is make sure you engage and work with sam on a really intimate level because he will definitely help you out Thanks so much, guys, and we'll talk soon. Adios. Bye now. They're awesome. Without Sam, here. With Sam, here. <laughs> so, here you get the picture. Hey, guys, think what it's costing you by not having a movement designed around what it is that you're passionate and purpose about. You're passionate about, and then your purpose. Just think about what it's costing you. Do you lose sleep? Do you wake up at two in the morning like I used to, thinking, damn, why am I not doing this? Why, why, why am I stuck? Like, this isn't complicated. I know so many people that are doing this that are less talented than I am. What's it costing you monetarily wise? What's it costing you freedom wise? Big. The pain you feel today, that's gonna be the strength that you feel tomorrow. So you're not gonna get through anything. I mean, pain is inevitable, but misery is optional. You're gonna build strength based on the pain you feel and whatever that is. Some of you, I don't even wanna you know, talk about it if it's not really there. I'm just letting you know that if you have some, Awesome. It's all part of the process. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It's that you use that. That's the strength you feel tomorrow. You have a choice. All right. And now it's time to make your choice and your voice heard. You're on your computer or you're on your phone. You're watching this training. You've seen the client story. You've seen my own story. You've heard Sam's story as well. And by now, you know that using a proven system like Sam and I have is the best way to launch your movement and never retire nobody i'm never retiring from what i do. see i'm ever gonna stop loving and training with horses no oh god no yeah you're not gonna retire hey sam what do you do oh i'm a retired horse lover <laughs> it doesn't even make sense so as silly no. as that sounded think about how silly it would sound if you ever retired from doing what it is that you love to do but first you got to get started how many of you know that you're going to need just a little help? Like you don't have all the answers right now. I'm guessing everyone. Okay. You got three choices. Here they are. Number one, you don't do anything. You stay exactly where you are. You continue to procrastinate. You put it off and you leave potentially thousands of dollars on the table each and every single month from now that you continue to wait, waiting for all the lights to be green. You're on one of those Possibly you're one of those people who will never decide to do anything with the information you learn. However, you get a rush out of seeing other people do great things and they're going to create the freedom and the lifestyle that you desire, in which case I am grateful that you were on today's webinar and I'm happy that I was able to teach you something that's opened your horizons just a bit more. Or you're this person. You can allow me and the amazing <laughs> Sam Kaplan, you know, the brains of the group, going to help yeah. you guide you in solving this problem of not being productive, not achieving your dreams and getting paid what you're worth. You know you're worth this, okay? And using this time-tested and proven every day is Saturday system that's been around for 13 years. Linda's already saying, I need help. Awesome, Linda, because this next slide is you or the one after. Mm -hmm. Plug into the every day is Saturday system. Let us help you create your own movement, better, faster, and way more powerful than you can do on your own. There, guys, there's no technical skills required. Sam and I will take care of that for you and then hand it off, all right? We're gonna narrow down your niche. We're gonna jump on a consulting call and we're gonna work this thing out and we're gonna get your message tight and we're gonna provide the direction you need to create massive momentum. Oh, there's Sam smiling so broad. This is what we like to do and it's non-negotiable. Did I tell you we like to have fun, okay? Um, Sam will tell you, I'm, I'm the funniest person that she's ever been around her entire life. She says it all the time. Okay. Like all, all the time. time. Yeah. It's almost embarrassing how she's posting out there all the time about it. So that's my big toothy grin and that's Sam's <laughs> and we like to laugh 
and while we help you create your movement. So that's non-negotiable. I hope you enjoy laughing and having fun as well. Uh, you get access yep. to the Momentum Club. I'm going with this as well. So inside of Momentum Club every week. We do a lot of group coaching too. Here's what I want you to do. Mm -hmm. I want you to go to samcrowleycoaching.com and I want you to hit the apply now button and answer just a few simple questions. And then you're going to book a 30 minute, what we call a power call. At the very least, you're going to get three amazing ideas that you can use in your business and your brand and your life right now. All right. To really shift your mindset and get you moving. Let me show you um, what that looks like. I'm just going to pull this screen up here. Sam, you can see that, right? The Everyday Saturday screen? Um, I can now, yes. Yeah, cool. It's about a little bit of delay. So you're right now, samcrowleycoaching.com is going to drop you on this page. Uh, it's going to look just like this. Okay. You're going to see uh, some copy there. A couple of testimonials from Jennifer, from Katie. There's hundreds, but I put those two on the page. And then hit the Apply Now button. And you're just going to see this form and you're going to fill it in self-explanatory literally multiple choice there's no wrong answers we just want to get a feel for if we can help you and if we can't i'm going to send an email to you it's going to come from me saying hey thanks so much for completing uh the application the real quick application it might take you three minutes to do it uh but it's not a good fit right now or if you are chosen you're going to be sent to the online calendar to book your free 30-minute power call as early as tomorrow and we're gonna get going because why? We wanna create momentum. It's the whole thing that we've talked about. So go to samcrowleycoaching.com. Tell us a little bit about yourself so we can know how we can help you best create your own lifetime of Saturdays using your voice, your intellectual property, and building your movement, okay? Let me go back to the last slide here, slideshow. Um, and one other thing I wanna let you know, remember that free gift I told you? There it is, go to edisbonus.com. You're gonna download the two hour audio titled Avoid the Top 10 Deathbed Regrets. And let me tell you, even if you only learn one of them about how to avoid regret, oh my, there is the one thing that drives me every day, and I share this with Sam all the time, is my regret that I never wanna be on my own deathbed saying, I wish I would've. Guys, you're on this webinar, mm -hmm. don't leave saying, Geez, I wish I would have. I wish I would have talked to Sam and Sam. I wish I would have back in when I was on that webinar, let them help me because I'd be so much further ahead right now. Just don't do that to your dream and don't do that to your family. Let us help you. But take advantage of the bonus. Go to edisbonus.com. And there it is. I'm going to leave that there. If I can answer any questions, uh, we're all done with the webinar, with the presentation. Was this helpful? Did you learn anything? Uh, hopefully, Linda, yes. I love that you put yourself out there saying you need help. Just go there and we'll start the process. We'd love to work with you. Anyone else, uh, any comments, any questions? You're awesome. Thank you, Linda. Appreciate that. You're probably talking to mm -hmm. Sam Kaplan though when she said you're awesome. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. Yeah, Sam said thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sam, did the I forget side. anything? Uh, did I miss anything? Thank you, Linda. No, I don't think so. Um, it's like Christmas because the applications that come through next and getting to meet people is like, mm. uh, but I can't think of anything that you forgot. We covered a lot. Yeah. And I was trying to be cognizant of the time because I know not everybody has a ton of time to be able to sit on a webinar. I try to make them fun, uh, full of content. We try to make them fun and full of content. And so at least you walk away, even if we don't end up working together, you walk away inspired. Like, wow, yeah. I know that my best days are ahead of me. If that's what came across today, that you now feel like your best days are ahead of you, then, then it was worth the time. Um, it is like Christmas time, seeing the applications come in. We just got one come in just a few seconds ago. Because Sam and I get an opportunity to look at them and we start actually just talking about them right away. Like, wow, what we could do with that person. Holy cow, that is great. Yes. I mean, we talk about the applications before we even contact you, that we get excited about that stuff because this is our passion. This is why we do what we do. Yep. So, all right, everyone, make sure you go to samcrowleycoaching.com. Uh, and that's the same thing that we want to create for everybody else. That same feeling, exactly. So go there, go to samcrowleycoaching.com, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, you'll get a response back. You'll get an opportunity to jump on a 30-minute power call, which will 
give you the momentum you need to get moving. I promise you that much. And we hope, I mean, Sam and I really do hope that we get a chance to work with you and show you all the greatness you have inside and the message, the very clear, concise, focused message you can share with the world um, and just feel that. So on behalf of Sam Kaplan, thank you. I'm going to apply now. Super. Thanks, Linda. On behalf of Sam Kaplan, Yay. it is Sam Crowley. This is a wrap on today's webinar. If you have any questions outside of here, you can always feel free to contact me. Send me an email, sam at everydayissaturday.com. And have the best day ever. We'll see you, everybody. Take care. Bye.